Mass adoption is coming. It is. Yep, yep. Waiting for it, for sure. I think, I mean, do we need to see, like, a, a BTC bull run first before we see people moving over here? Because, like, we need high gas on Ethereum. Is that what it's, how it's going to be? We need bullshit chain wrap Bitcoin to go to parity, and that's going to really piss off a lot of people. That'll bring a crowd. <laughs> oh, that'll bring a lot of eyes, man, for sure. That would be wild. I feel like we're dealing with a different Richard Hart these days, though. I don't I don't think he's going to twerk anymore for it. I don't know. I, th I still think he's got that spirit. Maybe when TLS is at the top and you know he's made a thousand x returns on his pls <laughs> I think he might start being loud again <laughs> oh my god if frigid twerks up for that that'd be great he will definitely be loud again we know this bro i seen that video of him on the stripper pole like i don't think he's gonna stop doing the most outrageous stuff I just feel like it was like a setup, though. I just don't really don't feel like that's like really his personality. Cringe marketing, bro. It, it's one of I the mean, best forms of marketing. You got guerrilla marketing, it's great, but cringe marketing it is very good, too. Yeah, that's kind of like what it was all about. Like, that was the point, was, like, cringe marketing, outrage marketing. Hey, look at me, right? I Hate me, hate me, right? Like, that was kind of, like, the whole point of it. And unfortunately, I mean, it definitely did its job, man, because people love to talk about how much they hate him. He got in sacrifice funds, right? So, like, it, it really did it did the numbers that he needed it to, really. I mean... Yeah. And I tell people, you know, like, I'll be in these other, like, communities and stuff, and I'll tell them, like, look, like, hey, we gave this dude, like, what was it, like, $1.5 billion in Pulse Chain's here now. Like... At what point would y'all have, like, dipped out, right? If you were scamming, like, a million dollars, ten million dollars, a hundred million dollars, five hundred? Like, at what point of the sacrifice phase would most people have, like, if they were scamming people, like, you know, dipped out, right? But, like, two and a half years later, whatever it was, look what's here, you know? Right. Who would have thought it would have taken so long, right? But I guess we all didn't know about all this stuff that was being worked on in the background. I mean, like, if this was, like, Richard or Richard's company or Richard's friends or whatever, you know, obviously two years is a bit of a time to uh, copy Ethereum, but obviously we're seeing now, I mean, there was a lot of planning that went into not just the blockchain, but also like the fruition of the blockchain. Yeah. My theory on the whole thing is that he knows who's behind it, but it's one of those like, yeah, I know you're doing it and you're just the other dude, whoever it is, just like, haha, you can't stop me. So like, whatever. I really think that it's something like that. See, I'm more along the sides of like him being involved in it um, only because of like his mastery behind liquidity ratios and things like that and how we see yeah i can see that things progressing i just feel like it you know obviously there are other people besides him that you know have ideas and things like that but like this, just, me, this just seems to have too much benefit <coughs> for pulse chain in general to be anybody else yeah your angle of it is like you know all that pd i sitting in the pulse x sacrifice wallet you know i i kind of want to know what that's about what is it associated in any way shape or form please god tell me i just want to know so yeah i totally i totally get it do we know if the sacrifice wallet die got copied over like is that wallet in pulse chain or not the wallet's on pulse chain but last time i checked it had all the hex in it but it didn't have any of the dye or the p dye okay. yeah. so like, yeah so i think that that and dye I don't know what like, to it. yeah i wonder we can check though on the blockchain what happened to it right that was one of the first things i looked into when the chain was fresh like, like is it still on the ethereum side wallet yeah it's still there um, it just didn't get copied over okay yeah so he did say that there would be changes right some wallets yeah. wouldn't get copied over so we did notice that a lot of the like big exchanges that hold dye those don't they those didn't get copied over either so those are people that have the potential to dump like like a hundred million die on our heads, I right? Think, I think that they did have it, but the AMM bot stole it and put oh. it in Pulsar. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, because think about like what, Fuck, what are yeah. stables used for? They're used for holding and they're used for liquidity providing. So right. if you want to, you can go back to the block that was forked on Ethereum and look at how much was being used as liquidity. And I promise you it was probably a metric fuck ton. Okay. Dude, that Those is absolutely launches, hilarious. That's great. AMM bot turns on and it goes through. And what do we know that it does? It takes all the liquidity, all the tokens from all, all the other exchanges and it puts them on the pulse X. So whoever had liquidity liquidity positions well guess where your tokens are they're sitting in an lp that the amm bot created <laughs> and that's why that's why uh if you go back and look at nine irons wallet when he was like buying it up i was taking the times that he was buying it and the times that he was posting on twitter and he was talking about it from the beginning that's how he was able to accumulate so much because it all got pumped into pulse x and it was just sitting there nobody wanted it so he's just like okay just started buying millions and like 50 million buy orders with it right of like pulse 
So, yeah, because ain't nobody got 900 million die laying around. Right. <laughs> nobody. We already know the biggest wallet is PulseX, and it's like 270. No, of course. Yeah, and we already we know we have like a inflated supply over here, right? So we have like 22 billion, and over there it's like four or five, I believe. Um, really? But actually, That's crazy. The total, the total supply actually decreased by 5 billion recently. So the supply increases. Like So when the tokens got copied over, like the same thing with WBTC, right? The, the supply supply for that is not the same as actual BTC. And just like DAI, right, the supply is different. So, so there were certain things that were changed during the copy. Okay. I love it, man. It's awesome. Freaking mind-blowing, man. Imagine what a day in life for Richard's like. And I, I can't even imagine, especially he's, now. He's definitely it's watching. Like, that Hex is his big post-chain is the blockchain, his playground. He's he's watching. He sees p top trading pair, teddy bear, top, top, top trading pair. He sees it all. He's not tweeting Dude, for a reason. Look at us, right? every day with these charts right and we're just buying into these things this is richard's freaking baby pulse chain you don't think he's got like 20 screens open with freaking different deck screeners up like watching charts watching lp pools like just clapping and roaring on uh i think that's exactly what's going on you know he's definitely keeping an eye on everything uh, definitely being quiet but obviously for a good reason i mean if i was if i was richard i honestly i'm of the belief that like he made all this stuff happen and maybe that's kind of crazy uh for me to think that but i I think that he's like such a smart guy that he like set the sec up because he knows that they're fucking idiots and they know he knows that they're out for blood and money and he basically gave them everything that they could have wanted to see you know visually basically but without knowing all the facts and now it's going to make them look fucking stupid and if he wins this case potentially it could change the entire country's view on the government, on money, on how things work. It could be a huge defining moment for like the world in terms of how we view our government, basically. 100%. He definitely baited them. Well, it's a chess the move, man. I, think it's, is, I honestly think it's a chess move. There's not anybody out there that's going to save us. I mean, people that are in politics, there's nobody that's in power in politics that has our public's best interest in mind. They're all only out for their own good and their own benefit. If you think that a politician has your back they don't right it's just it's just a big scam a big circus politics are meant to divide and conquer us right so we all have you know different opinions and we can't really get together and agree on anything right they divide us that way i do feel yeah. strongly about politics in that sense that you know they're not they're not for us right they're definitely against us 100 percent, totally agree with everything you said like the name of the game is divide and conquer move the money from weak hands to strong hands so and at this point like you know it's all about energy to me i don't think we need to put our attention there at all like that's that's what they want is our attention like we don't need to fight against it we don't try and change it you know what i mean we need to just build and that's why i've been so behind richard and hex and now pulse chain and so things have changed that richard's not just a c20 creator now he's an l1 creator so like his his game has changed i think you know we all need to up our game and get up to speed with that you know that's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling. No, definitely. The sooner that everybody realizes that, like, you know, we need to just rep Pulse Chain, and, and and that's it. Not just like whatever coin you're holding, kind of. We need to just preach Pulse Chain to the outsiders and get people in, just in general, so they can play around. Having that opportunity is paramount. You know, being able to to come in and, and play with low gas. You know, it's it's incredible. And now I'm having to constantly remind myself. I'm like, no, it costs like five cents. Do it. Go. Let's go. <laughs> right. No, I know. I just, I, I used to have a ton of friends. Like, I remember like four or five years ago, maybe like so many friends that I was like trying to tell about Ethereum. But then when they started to use it, they were like, I, we can't use this because like, I, I want to buy a hundred dollars worth of this thing. And, and I can't do that because it's $50 to, to just, just get it basically. And so like all those people, I feel like, I mean, there's gotta be a way that like, you know, retail investors need to be aware of this on, an, on a level where they can kind of understand how they couldn't use Ethereum before, right? And this is kind of like the opposite of that. Let the SEC stuff blow over. They'll be right over. I know it. Yeah, honestly, that's free marketing, honestly. Because like, even my mom knew about the SEC thing. <laughs> and, she, and I'd never told her about Hex or anything like that. So yeah, no, it is It is definitely going to be something that brings more eyes, especially if he wins, honestly. That'll be like the most bullish thing in the world. But I just would, I would hate the bull market not like come in time of the happening and things like that so i don't know who knows i think maybe enough green candles can kind of maybe jump start that well you bring up a good point i i for a while i didn't even worry about xerhex price at all 
all because of I had been around long enough to see how much the um, whales wanted hex. Now I've you know totally switched my thought process. Like the more green, the faster, the better. Period. I think it's time. I think we've been, we're being shown that like it is time for pulse chain to to melt faces and get everything going. I agree. I think enough whales have dumped and now the SEC case and everything. I think we actually have bottom and then hopefully up from here. One hundred percent. I think PLS is going to see some brighter days for sure from now on. Because I can actually. I mean, I'm seeing it right now, right? So people, I, I think people are taking gains and putting it into PLS and hex, and I think that's kind of why we're seeing some of that stuff go up. Because like everybody's been making tons of money on tropa and all these other coins um what's the next obvious choice right you know we, we were all uh bullish on pls and hex and all these things beforehand right so we just kind of got to remember that so when i'm trying to like play around with these different tokens and see what's doing x's or in just in my mind generally right that's what i think about um but now that like you know p die is coming down to about 600 500 x um i think people are thinking more long term right so pls hacks like these are potential thousand x tokens right so that that's that's always been talked about at least before um so i think maybe people are kind of shifting their their holdings a little bit if they were holding more pdi before they may have shifted to pls because hey if it's a bottom and you can thousand x or whatever you can whatever x you're going to get from that if it's going to be greater than the pdi x's i think that it's just kind of making sense for some people to do that yeah, people are sleeping on the uh, the validators rising as well because with them walking up 32 million pulse chain, well, they can't all exit at the same time. It's like a small doorway. You got to go in or out one at a time. So don't forget about that. Very true. Very true. How many validators are we at now? Do you know the number? It's ridiculous. It's like 42,000. And how many are on ETH? Say 43, 1, 2, 3 right now. So 43,000 validators. That's nice. Do, do we know how many are on the ETH side? Yeah, I'd be curious to know that number. Because once we can say that we're more decentralized than ETH per validator, you know, I think that be a cool thing. Um, you said there's 222k here in validators, and there's almost 45,000 on this side. Yep. Damn. Okay. That. I mean, think about that, right? Like we're literally that's like a five x away. That's even close. Yeah. We just launched the chain, and Ethereum's how many years old? They have that many validators, and we already have this many. Very true. Very scary comparison, dude. We're gonna blow past it, and that's where the hockey stick chart comes into play with Pulse Chain. It's coming. 100. percent There's a lot of really interesting. <laughs> I'm going into a, a number of Iranian Persian spaces and I started making friends because they were there's some hexagons that are Persians or Iranians but I go in there they're talking in Farsi which is like one of the oldest languages you can speak that's actually functionally used and they're really nice and you know they're fighting for their country to get back their old king and uh, anyway since they had everything taken away from them uh, they were you know talking about pulse chain and hex and they want to bring in more of their um, Iranian friends because they all know what it's like to get everything taken away from you so they totally don't trust the government and they want something that they manage themselves so i was i sat there and talked for a good 20 or 30 minutes about hex and pulse chain and atropa and, and so they were eating it all up dude that is fucking amazing to hear Super wow cool. So my hat's off to you, Gabriel. Uh, so I just want to give you some kudos. Well, the great thing is, is when you when you get out there, you get wisdom from everyone in different areas. Those maybe a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of Persians and Iranians in, in the U.S. have a lot of money. So they're they're in the money game. They're in trading, and they're in a lot of things that people don't realize. And that's that's exactly what we need is like people stepping into uncomfortable positions or places and speaking what they know about Pulse Chain and try to help bring people over here so thank you Gabe. do you remember some, one of the old videos of richard he said uh, you know he didn't want to give away what he's going to do and but he's got some really cool tech and and he was talking about p die and he was talking about um you know some special things and i and one of the things he was talking about and and i can't remember exactly how he said it but i want to go back to it he said that he can build up um on pulse chain and he said something about liquidity pairs or something but then he said if we'll play nice and you know but if if ethereum starts to attack them or do something then they will pull the liquid uh, liquidity or they'll set up something on ethereum and pull the liquidity from there and i think that's what uh this atropa is and that was the plan that they wouldn't implement it until they started getting tacked or you know he said he wanted to play nice first does, does anyone remember that yeah we've been talking about that there's been a bunch of chatter about that i love it and then even just thinking about it made me forget what i was gonna say so solid once things start up 
up. And all we have to do is for it to go up like half a percent. And no one can catch up with Atropa if it's bought a whole bunch. And plus, there's a whole bunch over there on the Ethereum side that the OA has to start to buy up a bunch and just be so once it goes up a half percent or one percent, no one can catch it. Yeah, I'm getting this feeling that like we haven't seen anything yet, especially considering our timing. Every so often I imagine what would it be like if I had never gotten into crypto. <laughs>